All right, y'all. The helicopter team has had some really good success recently in selling the Bell 505. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to give you a little bit of a tour of it. Let's check it out. All right, so similar to the GX platform, the 407, the Bell 505 also has the latest and greatest with the Garmin Avionic package. Uh, the newer Bell 505s are coming out with the 1000 NXI. Uh, later, our earlier serial numbers were the standard G1000 cockpit. Again, as a pilot, having that tool, it just makes life so much easier, especially if you have it coupled with one of the autopilots. You can have a two axis or even a Garmin three axis autopilot in the Bell 505. Another thing that Bell did really different on the 505 compared to, I say, its predecessor, the Jet Ranger or Long Ranger, is the stadium seating. All seats facing forward. And in fact, the last time I was in a 505, I was in the back, wasn't quite happy about it, rather be flying it. However, I had to say that stadium style seating gave great passenger view. It's really comfortable. They've done a good job with the ergonomics. Uh, I'm enjoying the, the rear seats. Some of the other cool things is they have different configurations of the rear seats. In fact, the last 505 that I sold had a quick release. So say that, hey, you want to go mountain biking, you want to go camping, you want to pack up the, uh, load up the helicopter and go adventure, you can actually quick release the seats and boom, you're ready to go. You load up your skis, you load up your bike, your fishing pole, your golf clubs, whatever it is, you can do it in the 505. Let's keep taking a look. My favorite things about the 505 is just the overall kind of curb appeal. I think it's super sleek. Every time I talk to a non-helicopter person, they're like, helicopters look like dragonflies. And I feel like the 505 really exemplifies that. Clean lines, uh, just really attractive, which makes it super awesome. We also have the uh, full horizontal stabilizer. Again, that's to help create a uh, more stability in turbulent situations. It is a two-bladed rotor system. So it is susceptible to like a low G and having that stabilizer set up like that allows it to uh, operate more safely in those environments if you happen to encounter turbulence. All right, let's keep taking a look. Some of my non-helicopter friends out there, people are always asking, what is this right down here uh, on the bottom of the tail? And that's called the stinger. If you look at most helicopters, they all have some bit of a stinger. Bell actually uh, includes the stinger as part of the landing gear package. When you're coming down and you're doing an auto rotation and you're flaring to build that energy back into the rotor system, that stinger is actually what can protect the tail. So in fact, you can use that if you have to and it will protect the vertical stabilizer from damage because uh, it's meant to actually take that impact. Again, it's part of the, uh, the landing gear. Back in my day at Hillsborough, I was flying the Bell 206. Again, the predecessor to this. And when we were doing full down auto rotations, it wouldn't be uncommon to drag that stinger a little bit. One of the things that Bell had in mind is this helicopter was really made for the private owner. Obviously it has other mission capabilities, but the aft baggage compartment is a decent size. You can definitely fit some golf clubs in there. You can fit your fishing pole, your tent, some luggage. Again, it's made for the private flyer and it's in that price point to be competitive with the other aircraft uh, in its category. guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour of this Bell 505. Please stay tuned for more exciting Cellicopter content. We love showcasing these beautiful helicopters and we love to help make your helicopter ownership dreams a reality.